So let's get our feet hip width apart, toes straight ahead, sitting bones down, core activated, shoulders back and down, arms relaxed, and come into mountain pose, spreading your toes, stretching your spine, breathing deep, exhaling stress, and just focusing inward. Take a few moments just getting that yoga frame of reference. Keeping that inner focus. And then inhaling, we'll do our warm up. Stretch those fingertips out at shoulder level. Exhale, hands to your heart. Stretch to the front, shoulders still down. And bring your hands behind. Clasp the fingers, lift your heart, stretch your head back. And then pivot at your hips. Exhale, over. So, Hands toward the ceiling, head toward your legs, circle your chin around, moving your neck and releasing any tension there. And then slowly with the knees slightly bent, start at the bottom of your spine, working your way back to the top and into another back, then lift your heart. Stretch your head back, pull your shoulders down. And then inhale upright, release your arms, Take a moment, just feeling your spine getting activated. And doing the same thing. Arms reaching at shoulder level, hands to your heart, stretch to the front, and then clasp your hands behind you the other way. So shift the fingers in one position. Come into your back, then lifting your heart, and then pivot again, exhaling over. Let the back of your legs get a stretch. Come up on one toe. Lifting your heel, and then press that one down and do the other one. And then both heels down, hands toward your head, tuck in your chin. And again, slowly wind up from the bottom of your spine to the top, and lift your heart. Stretch your head back, shoulders down. Keep breathing. And again, upright and released. And then as you get back in the mountain, let's just take a moment there. So circle your hips, bringing them around. Just keep your shoulders even. And just slightly bending your knees, just bring those hips in a big circle. And then stop and go the other way. Just feeling that lower back hip area get a little more release, and again, back into mountain pose. Keep one hand down, bring the other arm out, palm toward the ceiling, hand above your shoulder. Push the hands away, keep the arm by your ear, and lean without twisting to the side. So make sure you're not leaning forward. Push the foot you're leaning away from down, get that side stretching a little bit more. Reach out through your head and fingertips. And then inhale back up, keep your shoulders down, release that arm, and bring the other one. Palm toward the ceiling, hand above your shoulder. Push the hands away, lean to the opposite side. No twist, make sure you're not leaning forward. Just maximize with that foot down, fingertips and head away. And then come back upright and release. And again, just take a moment feeling that shoulder through hip area a little bit more stretched open. And then separate your bones for our spinal twist. Arms out at shoulder level, palms up, hands above your shoulders, clasping your elbows. And again, spread your toes, stretch the spine, sitting bones down, crown high, and twist to the side. Full body turning to the side. Lengthen up, breathe in, exhale over in the chest. So just take a moment there, breathing and relaxing, deepening as far as you want to go. And then see if the weight is still on both feet evenly in the twist. Take a breath or two, lift your sitting bones, and then lifting your whole body gently, slowly in the twist, coming all the way up into that upper body for the back bend. So really lift your heart, keep breathing, and elbows back. 
Inhale to the top, exhale around to the center and switch your arms around. And again, lengthen up and exhale to the other side. Keep those bones apart as you pivot over. Toes straight ahead still, weight on both feet still, arms by your ears still. And lift your sit bones. Take a moment there, feeling that twist forward bend. And then slowly work your way up and another back bend in the upper back, lifting your heart, elbows back, shoulders down. Keep breathing, stretching. And then inhale to the top, exhale around to the front, shoulders down, fingertips up. Just lift your whole body and pivot forward and drop into ragdoll. So take a moment there, reaching down toward the floor, lifting your sitting bones, doing a good stretch. And again, you can put your fingertips on your leg or the floor and lift one heel up. Just feel what's going on through that lower back area. And then press that heel down, lift the other one up. And both heels down. Pull in a little deeper with your hands behind your legs, everything even, and then arms back to the front, and again, slowly winding back all the way into mountain pose. Take a moment there, just feel what's going on through your body. Shoulders back and down a couple of times, releasing that whole upper shoulder area. And back in the mountain pose, crown high. Turn your toes out just a little. Deep knee bends, so bend your knees, bring your hands to the top of your knees, and then inhale and stand upright, hands to your hips. So do that just gently, pushing your sitting bones back as you do that, or go all the way to the floor as you exhale down if that's feeling okay through your hips and knees. So do what's right for your body, just getting a little bit more circulation going through that hip and lower body area. Taking a breath, exhaling down, inhaling up. And just a few more times seeing what's going on through your whole lower body. And then coming back into mountain pose, turn those toes straight ahead again. Knees going towards your second toes as always. And bring your arms out to shoulder level, palms toward the ceiling, hands above your shoulders. So push on one side coming up, coming on the toes of the opposite foot, lifting the heels. So the foot you're pushing down is flat and the side that you're not stretching the heel is up. Get a good stretch through the hip, through the ribs. Exhale that side down, inhale up on the other side. So again, coming up on the toes, lifting the heel on that opposite leg. Stretch it out, feel the ribs opening, feel that hip doing things. And release. Bring both arms up, stretching. Extended mountain again, pivot at your hips, Arms by your ears, push the sitting bones back. Push out through your fingertips, back through your sitting bones. And then push one hip back further. And then back to the center. And then the other hip back further. And back to the center. And then just exhale and relax into ragdoll. Lift both sitting bones evenly. Slide your hands up under your shins, straighten and stretch in that halfway up position, elbows, knees, and back straight. Keep lengthening. And then exhale again, bend your knees, hands back down toward the floor. Lift your ribs, drop your sitting bones, and wind back all the way up, shoulders back and down, and again into mountain pose. So get back into mountain pose, just take a moment. And again, observe how your body is responding. Spread your toes. And we're going to go into our pelvic tilts. 
So toes angled slightly out, knees going the same direction, remember, as your second toes, so that whole leg turns. Bend your knees toward your toes, not beyond. Don't overwork your knees. Hands above your knees, keeping your shoulders above your toes. Stretch the spine long and straight. And then sink into the back bit. So drop your ribs, push your sitting bones back, just slightly forward, looking to the front. Remember, no pressure in your knees, just working that pelvis and spine. Feel really good lengthening through your whole body. Exhale, pull the ribs back, tuck the sitting bones down and forward, and look down between your toes. Keep those shoulders above your toes, hands above your knees. And just inhaling into the back bend, really pushing the hips, sitting bones way back, chest way forward, ribs dropping. And then the other way, tucking down and forward. And inhaling back bend. Exhaling forward again. And really get that pelvis moving, that whole hip area. Getting it a little bit more stimulated. And then the next time you're paused forward, just come on up and back into mountain pose. Take a moment feeling that midsection a little bit more energized and hands to your heart. Look at your fingers, inhaling them toward the ceiling. Pull the thumbs back as you look at them. Push your hips over your ankles and your chest high toward the ceiling. Stretch the back of your neck so don't crunch it. Keep that chin slightly towards your chest. Exhale, pivot over. Follow your hands. First to your heart and then pivoting at your hips, dropping in your legs. Pull in a little deeper with your hands behind your legs. Get a bit stretched through that back of your body, especially through that lower back. And then hands back to the center. And again, palms together, inhaling, coming back toward the ceiling. Inhale, lifting your heart, pull the thumbs back. Another upper body back bend, really lift your heart, get out of those hips. And exhale, hands to your heart. Go ahead and pivot all the way over into ragdoll. Hands up under your shins, halfway up stretch. Your elbows, knees, and spine straight. Stretch it out through the neck, through the sitting bones back and crown forward. Knees stretching. And then bend your knee, come all the way to child's pose for our transition. Hips back toward your heels, knees together so you get a good stretch through that lower back. And forehead toward the floor. Shoulders down. Take a breath. Just relax. Deep breaths, tension out. And then inhaling. Come on back up, slide off, coming into staff position. Sitting bones behind you, get a little padding if you need to for that pelvic tilt. Round toward the ceiling, toes pulling back, heels pushing out, shoulders down. And then we'll warm up the hips a little more. So bring your foot to your opposite thigh and let the knee come down. And remember, just let it go wherever it wants to go. You can add weight with your hands, but don't add pressure. If it's really tight today, you can bring this other leg over to the side, but keep the knee and toes up wherever it is. And just let this knee come down when it wants to, as far as it wants to. It may stay up, that's okay. Do what's right for your body. Let it relax. Breathe deep. Exhale, tension releasing even more. And just let that whole lower back and hip area have a little bit more release as far as it wants to go. And then bring your foot and knee into your hands or pull your arms around your leg and pull the leg in and rotate back and forth, getting that hip area a little more warmed up. Take a breath, do what's right for your body. Exhale, tension. 
And then release that leg, feel that side, and get ready to do the other one because it's not as warmed up. So foot to your thigh, knee coming down, just relaxing it. Hands not pressuring, just adding weight if you want, or leg moving to the side if that's going to help that open a little bit easier for you. Take a breath. The more you emphasize the exhalations, remember the more things release in your body, knowing that you're not going to overstress them. So just let it happen. Let that leg do what it wants to do today. Just noticing one side may be tighter and one side may be easier. Just be aware of which side that is for you. Keep breathing and relaxing it. And when you're ready, put a knee into your hands or pulling in for a little more intensity as you move back and forth with that hip. So just side to side, moving, getting that outside of your hip lubricated a little bit further. And then as you exhale, release. And again, just take a moment feeling the warmth through those hips. Bring your legs to the end of the mat. Stack up in staff position, shoulders down, core active, and then just slowly roll onto the floor. As you get all the way down, just take a brief relaxation. Taking a moment to breathe, just letting your body sink. Notice your hips, make sure they're even as you're sinking. That lower back area toward the floor just slightly. And then sitting back slightly towards your heels, bending your knees, bring your heels in right next to your sitting bones. Knees straight up, so remember a roll in at the top of the thigh to make sure that everything stays straight up, not spreading up. Hands next to you, palms down. We're going to just strengthen that back a little bit. So press your back down, sitting bones away towards your heels, the whole back pressing into the floor. And then tuck the sitting bones down, lift your ribs coming into that space under your back, back bend, just in that lower back end. And doing what's right for you, pressing down, exhaling, inhaling, stretching up. And just a few times, strengthening, toning your abs, getting that whole lower back a little bit more flowing as much as you can. And then just relax neutrally. Keep those heels right near your sitting bones, knees straight up, so no spreading apart. Make sure that the whole bottoms of your feet are on the floor. And then bring the right leg up toward the ceiling. Bend the knee, put the ankle above the left knee. So stay there if that's enough. Press out with your hand, right hand on the right knee if you want a little bit more through that lower back area. And if you want even more, you can bring your left foot up off the floor. Left hand behind that thigh or around your knee to pull it in while you're pressing the hand gently into that right knee. So the right knee pushes away, the left knee pulls in. So remember, you don't need your hands if you don't want to do your hands. You don't need to overemphasize it, doing what's right always for your body. You can keep that foot on the floor. You can just gently press away. Or you can just use the knee itself to gently press away so that those hips and things get better aligned. Take a breath. Really relax. Just deepen as much or as little as your body needs today. Exhale in tension. And when you're ready to release, bring your left foot to the floor if it's up. Bring your hands to the mat. Raise your right leg straight up toward the ceiling, straightening it out, pulling, rolling in at that top of the thigh so the knee and toes are going toward your face. And then lower the leg, bending your knee, put the foot down with the heel right near your sitting bone. Feel the difference on the two sides. So yeah, 
you've got a balance. So pressing your back just gently down, lift that left leg, bend the knee, put the ankle above the right knee. And again, left hand onto the knee if you want a little bit more, pushing away with that knee. So you can just do the knee itself, or you can use your hand to push it away. If that's working a lot more, you can lift your right foot and put your hand behind you. The right roll around with the calf, the shin. And pull in with the right as you push away, just gently with the left. So you shouldn't have a lot of stress in the shoulders as you're doing that. It should just be gentle, always doing what's right for your body. Once again, breathing, relaxing, letting things adjust as they need to in this position, however much they need to. Take a breath. Just relax. And tonight. Exhale, release any tightness. And again, when you're ready to release, bring your foot down, your hands to the mat, bring that left leg back up and straighten it out, and lower the foot, bending the knee, heel right next to your sitting bones. Hands next to you, palms down, shoulders and shoulder blades down. Exhale, really press into the mat with that whole lower body, lower back. Sinking that core down. And then as you inhale, use your core to lift, bring your hip bones up, and coming as far into that bridge position as you'd like. So really press into both feet evenly. Make sure the knees are still straight up, so no rolling out with the knees. Hips going straight toward the ceiling, just gently into your bridge. Work up onto the tops of your shoulders, maybe a little bit more. Press your hands down and lift your hips. Make sure that your feet are evenly pressing into the floor. Hips evenly lifting toward the ceiling. Keep that core active, really pulling those ribs up as well as those hip bones. Take a breath. Exhale, tension. Back of your head is on the floor. Remember, not your neck. You're losing shoulders for support. Feet supporting evenly. Lift those sitting bones. Keep those knees right at hip level. And then release your shoulders, your shoulder blades, your ribs, and your spine all the way back to the floor. As your back gets down, press it in, draw your knees up toward your heart, pull your knees toward your chest. Take a breath. You can stay there or you can bring your forehead up toward your knees to get yourself a good stretch. And then head back on the floor and bring your knees around in a circle, massaging that lower back. Stop and go the other way with your circles. Just doing what's right for you. Breathing, relaxing, bring your feet to the floor, slide the legs out. Take a moment, recline integration one more time. Just feel your body sinking. Bring your arms up over your head. Palms toward each other, bring the arms right above your shoulders. Lead with your heart, pull your body all the way up into your seated position. Reach for your toes, a little yoga sit up, and come back into staff position. So sitting bones behind you, we're going to do our diving dolphin. So bring your foot up into your inner thigh, knee out toward the side. Bend your other knee, bring the heel in near your hip, but not under it. That hip can be up because we're going to twist. Lengthen from your sitting bones up and exhale. Turn your whole body, so hips, ribs, shoulder toward that first knee you bend. Hands on your leg or the floor, ribs back. Exhale, tuck your chin, dive under the forehead toward the knee. Face rotating to the front and up toward the ceiling, lifting your heart back up to the sun and the sky as you breathe in. So exhale and dive under. Inhale and come all the way up. 
and just doing what's right for your body as you exhale and inhale. Pausing at the top, exhale back to the center, release your legs. Feel that whole spine and lower back area. And of course, we're gonna balance the body and go the other direction. So foot to your inner thigh, knee bending, heel back near your opposite hip. Hip is up so that you can twist, so lengthen that spine, exhaling, turning toward the knee. Hands on the knee, ribs in, chin tucked, diving under as you exhale. Face to the front, lifting to the sun and the sky as you inhale, chest high, coming up. And just dive your dolphin a couple more times. Lifting and diving. And again, as you come up this time, pause at the top. Exhale, turning back to the center and releasing your feet back to the end of the mat. Again, in staff position, rolling all the way onto the left. And coming into your T position for our final twist, we're going to do that lower back chiropractic twist so that we can twist out that sciatica area again. Sitting bones toward your heel, bending your right leg, foot to the left thigh, rolling all the way to the left side. Head on the floor, knee down, hands together in front of you all the way on the left. Hold your left hand on your right knee, right arm above your shoulder, and lower the arm behind you. Remember, the more you keep the knee on the floor, the more that lower back releases and adjusts. So let it happen, don't force it. Let the arm come toward the floor as your middle back is ready to twist and turn your head toward that right arm or your neck area twist. Maximize or minimize, remember personal practice, doing what's right for your body, breathing. Exhale and just letting that lower back, especially, get a little more release. Those exhalations release the ligaments and allow things to adjust. Let it happen. And of course, hold these twists longer on your own, but for now, we're sampling. So just let go of your knee, roll onto your back, fly the foot near the other one. Take a moment just feeling that twist energy through your body especially in that lower back area. Getting ready to twist the other way. So again, sitting bones toward your heels back down and left leg bending, bringing the foot to the right thigh, rolling all the way to the right side. Keep that head down, knee all the way to the floor as much as it will go. Hold the knee down, bring the left arm up. Look at it as you lower it at shoulder level behind you into your twist. And again, just breathe and relax as that hand comes behind you. As far as gravity wants to bring it, don't force it. Just let it happen. Knee down for that lower back twist. Remember, if you're having issues there, you don't need the knee all the way down. If that's not working for you, do what's right for your body as you breathe. So just deepening into your twist as far as it wants to go on this side. And remember, one side's going to be more challenging than the other. Just let each side go to its maximum and then maybe back off a little bit even and relax a little bit further. Exhale tension. And whenever you're ready to release again, just let go of the knee, rolling onto your back, straighten things out as you bring the foot near the other one. Hands, palms up near your side, shoulders down, coming into your final relaxation. Deep breath, exhaling tension. And just let your body soften and sink. Feel what areas have been stimulated in your yoga practice. And let them relax even more. And just allow the body to soften and sink, growing heavier, deepening into that open base a little further with each exhalation. Let your body go. No need for awareness. Just let your thoughts drift away. As you release thoughts of your body, now other thoughts will come to your mind and let them go as well. 
releasing any thoughts of discomfort or pain in your body, stress or tension in your mind. Just let everything drift away as easily as your breath. No need to remember the past or anticipate the future. Just let it go. And allow your body to soften and sink and your body to lighten and float. Your mind releasing the content of any thoughts. And just allow your awareness to turn inward, focusing on that peace within. Breathing into it and being peace. Just let your body soften and sink, continuing your relaxation if you have even more time. It's time to get ready for the rest of your day. Just begin drawing energy and awareness back to the moment, to the room, to your body. And begin moving your body gently as you breathe more deeply. Allow yourself a good stretch whenever you're ready. And when you're ready for your final yoga of appreciation, Sitting bones toward your heels, bending your knees, run your heels up toward your hips, and your knees up toward your heart. Wrap your arms around however feels right for you today. Give yourself that appreciative yoga hug. Let your body know you appreciate its yoga work and the work your body does for you every day. And while you're in that hug position, head to the floor just Circling around on that lower back one more time for a little bit more release in that area. And then with your head on the floor, your feet coming down, roll over to the side, sitting back up, getting ready for whatever's ahead for your day today. Thanks for joining me.